Hello everybody, I'm Aaron Cha, and hello YouTube everybody, whoever watching this. Uh, right now it's like 7.44 a.m. over here where I'm at, and I just want to spread something with you guys really, really, really fast. And it might be a really long video, but if it's long, I'm sorry, but we all know, we all, I mean, we all don't know when Jesus is coming. I don't know, you don't know. Nobody knows in the world don't know when Jesus is coming. But only Jesus know when he's coming. But then the Bible, Matthew chapter 24, verse 3 to verse 14, let us know to, to look and watch out for, to know when it's, it's going to be the coming of Jesus. So as it says, this is in Matthew chapter 24, verse 3 to verse 14. If you all... If y'all like to just um open your Bible and read it with me. Uh probably your Bible probably might be different than mine, but yeah, you know, we all you know, we all love reading Bible, especially with me. Alright. It says verse three it says While he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples approached him privately, saying, Tell us when will these things be and when what will be the 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 sign of your presence and if the conclusion of the system of things so they're asking Jesus when it will be the, the end of the world when it will be the, the end of he coming and Jesus answered look out that nobody misleads you so we have to look out for people that will not mislead us so we have to look out for people that's going to take us to the wrong way remember only Satan only could take us to the wrong way. Jesus take us to the right way, the good way, the truth way. So we all know that we should follow Jesus. So watch out for people that are going to take you to the wrong way. That's what it says. And then it says, For many will come to the basis of my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will mislead many. So people will start admitting that they're Jesus Christ. So we go to a place, you see people say that's Jesus Christ, that's not Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ says that. So, if that person says he's Jesus Christ, he's going to mislead people. And that's not Jesus, that's Satan. Remember, Jesus will come when he comes. No one knows when he's here. No one knows when he's here. Okay, Jesus is only the one who knows that he's coming. So that's not Jesus Christ. If you see people say that's Jesus Christ, but that's not Jesus Christ. That's Satan. And it says that uh, you are going to hear of wars and reports of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for these things must take place, but the end is not yet. So we we are going to hear about rumors of wars, and we are already hearing about rumors of wars about the nuclear bomb from North Korea and we don't know what Donald Trump's gonna do we don't even know when the war's gonna start but this this is already a, about rumor about wars already and we've been having wars a long time ago since World War One and War War World II already and he predicted these things Jesus has said and then it says for nation when for nations will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there will be food shortages and earthquakes in other places after another. So, there's going to be earthquake hitting one place another and another. And there's already earthquake hit Mexico this year. And the, the equality of earthquake is stronger than before. And earthquake been hitting a lot of places in a long time ago already. But it's still happening today. And it's happening more today. More this year. And that's what Jesus predicted. There will be earthquake hitting places to places. And it says. He said. Well these things are. A beginning of pains of distress. Then people would. Then people. Will hand you over to tribulation. And will not. And will hate you. And you will be hated by all the nations of account of my name. So pe the nations will hate the people that believe in Jesus. So the people that do not believe in Jesus are going to hate the people that believe in Jesus. But no matter what, be strong and have faith. 
They're going to try to put you down say that Jesus is not your savior. But Jesus is our savior. He's our king. And if people are doing that because they're Satan. Satan don't like Jesus. We all know Satan don't like Jesus. And Jesus is trying to... And, not Jesus. and Satan is trying to put us down. But no matter what, don't give up. Jesus loves us. It says that... Then too many will be stumbled and will betray one another and will take... And will hate one another. So Jesus said that people will start people will start losing faith in Jesus. And will hate one another. But Jesus, remember Jesus says, love one another and he had love us. No matter what, try your hardest to fight the evil. Don't let Satan get to you guys or trick you. Jesus loves us. And Jesus is coming back soon. And don't get tricked by Satan. And don't hate on one another. Don't lose faith. Always believe in Jesus with all your heart. And it says. And it says that. Many false prophets will arise and mislead many. So there will be a lot, a lot of fake preachers. A lot of fake pastors. Going to start. Going to start misleading. Wrong. Misleading people. So. It's already happening though. There's already some fake prophet, fake, fake pastor already. And if you go to a church that they don't talk about the Bible at all, the Word of God, they don't talk about the Word of God in the Bible, don't go to that church. Run away. Because that's Satan. Remember, we all want to hear the Word of God that comes from the Bible. But if he, that pastor or preacher is not talking about that in the Bible, run away from that church. Okay, that is Satan. I'm just warning. I'm, I, I'm not trying to say that. I'm not trying to say I'm right, but the, what I'm, I didn't predict this, but but Jesus predicted this, and He's saying that to us. So remember, if you go to a church and they're preaching, and they don't preach about nothing from the Bible, run away. And then it says that, and because of the increasing of lawlessness, the love of the greater number will grow cold. So everyone that used to have a lot of greater love will have. We'll not have that much love no more. We we'll start being more mean because of the law that we have in the United States. And the United States law is getting different. And we all know people start hating each other already. People are already fighting each other already. And we don't want that. We have to have faith and be loved like Jesus. And, you know, tell the gospel word to everybody to love one another. Like Jesus. Like Jesus coming back soon. And that, this is what I want people to know. This is why I'm here to tell you guys. And it says, but the one who has endured to the end will be saved. I don't really know what that means, but maybe it says, but the one that stays faithful and believes in Jesus Christ until he comes when the end will be saved. That's what it says. And then it says, and this good news of the kingdom will be preached in all the inhabited earth for a witness to all the nation. And then what, and then the end will come. So it said the end will come. So I don't really know what it means on that part, but if y'all want to, if y'all want to read that part, it means uh, this is in Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse fourteen, the last first last first fourteen that I have, not the last first, but the the last first that I read, first fourteen. So yeah, um, I just want to let y'all know that this is what is, he predicted: earthquakes. You know, hear about rumors about wars, pick pick preachers, pick prophet. People are gonna start saying they're Jesus Christ, and that's not Jesus Christ. It's only gonna be Jesus. Remember, Jesus only know when He's coming. No one don't know when Jesus is coming. So, I pray that y'all will give your life to Jesus. Okay, we are running out of time. We are living the last day, the last hour. And let's pray for everybody to just believe in Jesus. So, before I, I end this video, I pray for everybody. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that you'll be with these people that are watching this YouTube and that they will be with you, that they will know you, they will follow your way. As you have said, Lord, you are coming soon and that there will be wars and there will be lots of fake prophets and lots of things happening in this world before you come. Lord, as I pray that you will lift them up to you, that they will know you, that they will follow your words and that they will come closer to you and that you will take away temptation and evil away from them and that Whenever, whatever they, whatever happens, they will be strong and believe in you and have faith in you. That you are Jesus Christ, our King and our Savior. 
So lift up these people and be with them. Bless them, Lord, and don't let them go. You love us so much. You died for our sins, and we believe in you, Lord. So, Lord, come to our life and breathe back into us and renew our heart and refresh us and that we will follow you and follow you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. So, I hope y'all um, was watching this. If y'all still watching this, thank you for watching it still because this is this is what people need to know. And make sure to like this video. And subscribe to this person, Eagle. Um, Eagle Eye Opener, I think. Yeah. And subscribe to that person. This person is really a good person. He's he he really, really, really I think he's a hero she had on but he or she really posts video about people dreams and stuff in his account. And it's good because it's good it's good to let the world know. So shout out to you man. Shout out to you that posting these kind of videos to everybody on YouTube. Keep keep getting people video and post it because everyone needs to know. Yeah, so thank you for watching. God bless everyone.